car park. Now we're going to go for a bit of a walk down this street. The lady said there's some, there's a supermarket, some restaurants out that way. So let's go walkies. That's the front of the hotel here. So it's a nice little drive in, drive out situation. You've got secured car park underneath. That's twelve dollars a night. Well, you've got free car parking here. I prefer to be, I prefer to be secured than unsecured. So, how many people in Canberra? Might be a different story tomorrow. Ridges. That was real quick, not even two minutes. Ah, oh, just joking, I forgot my vaping juice. I told the wife to remind me when we get down to the car to grab the juice and as usual she forgets, so back in a minute. All good. Let's rock and roll, let's see what Canberra has to offer. Let's see what sort of restaurants they have up here. Most likely. McDonald's, KFC, who knows, we'll see when we get there. See you soon. Okay, so we've come to the steakhouse, which looked pretty good. The menu looked reasonably priced. Food looks good, so we've come here to have a nice meal. So I'll show you what we're going to get once it arrives. Stay tuned. Yeah, sir, that's the garden salad, that's part of your meal. I want to pick up all of them. Okay, we've done with our meal. Steakhouse in, um, I think it's Capitol Hill, here in Canberra. <coughs> Very nice. Um, out of a 10, overall, probably give it like a, a 9. Really nice food. Just the pork, the, what do you call it, the roasted pork belly. Just a little bit too, um, how can I say this, too swiney. Nothing like the pork belly in the Philippines. Here in Australia, it just tastes, tastes too swiney. What I mean by swiney, it tastes too piggy. Smells like pig. So, anyway, if you're ever out this way, check it out. The Steakhouse. Uh, it's sort of in between McDonald's and the Mexican um, Mexican place. Check it out. Uh, I'm going to put this camera away because it's absolutely freezing here. I think I last checked it, it was about 2 degrees. If it was raining, it'd be snowing. So I'm going to put this away, put my hand in the pocket because it's freezing. The wife's tripping here. She can't handle this heat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put the camera away and let's get back to the hotel room. See you there. Okay, so we're back in our room. Um, yeah, nice meal at the steakhouse. Um, just cold. If you plan on coming to Canberra in August, bring your ski clothes. That was just freezing. Only a five minute walk from the the, um, the steakhouse. If you like your grilled foods, I recommend. Check it out. Not bad. Uh, a bit pricey, but meals are okay. Like I said, probably give it like a nine, nine out of ten. Um, if the pork was more on the lean side and didn't smell so much like pig, then probably would have got a 10 but apart from that really nice food um, we're gonna go straight to bed we're gonna go we've got a big day tomorrow um embassy renewing the wife's passport hopefully you can join us on that little um expedition hopefully it just it's in and out maybe an hour or two and we're done um, and i'll explain what what we did and what was needed to to get that so for all of you other filipinos here in australia who are looking to renew your passport you might want to watch this video 
So until we see each other tomorrow, guys, take care. Peace out.